Zoe here, coming to you from what would have been four months. Welcome back to our channel. I hope you're having a good day because, well, I'm not having the best day. I had to go visit my doctor today for my four month checkup. And man, did I have a good cry. I don't know why the nurses always got to stick things in my legs. Don't they know it hurts? Anyways, if you're wondering what happens at a four month checkup, then keep on watching. Here's my mommy. Hi, it is the morning of Zoe's four month checkup. I'm so excited, but I have to work today and I'm leaving early so I can pick Lucas up and Zoe up to go to the doctor. Hopefully work is not crazy today and I can make it on time. actually got on time now we will go home pick up lucas and zoe and head to her four month checkup <laughs> so pumped i'm so pumped to see how much she weighs now <sighs> so yeah mommy had to go to work before i had my appointment today because you know i cost her a lot of money apparently at least i drink breast milk though because that stuff is free okay so she got home around 2 in the afternoon to pick me and daddy up. I had no idea what I was in for on the ride to the doctor's office. Mommy made it seem like it was some sort of exciting event, as if I should be happy to see my doctor. Once we got there, we checked in and then a nurse called my name for us to follow her into a room. The nurse asked mommy and daddy some questions about me, as if I wasn't in the room. Can you see what's on her back in a crib? Yes, yes, in her crib. Still taking naps? Yes. Yes. And for the most part, her stools are normal? Yes. Yes. It started changing colors a little bit. It got a little darker. It got a little okay. darker okay. recently. Have we started food yet or not yet? No, not yet. What are you supplementing with which formula? Uh, uh, Similac. Yeah. Any answer? Yes. And what is she thinking about how much food? Um, well, she just like Just today. like today. Yes, we we just got back from a long trip. Okay, and yeah. I just started back at work, so that's Right, why. and you're like, okay, we gotta... Yeah. She then asked mommy to strip me naked. How rude! But I was okay with it. I knew they wanted to see how much weight I've put on. And mm -hmm. guess how much I weighed! What was her weight? Hee oh. <laughs> hee. Mommy is really proud of how chubby I am. They also measured my height and the circumference of my head. Mommy well, we knows she's big, so she's way up here at the 98th percentile <laughs> for her height and the 95th percentile for her feet. Wow. And then she takes it. I thought maybe, yeah, I thought maybe it would have gone down. Yeah, it's big. But she I mean, she's was not like... fat. She's just. <laughs> you're not fat. If anything, you're just tall. Yeah. Yes, it is tall. <laughs> then it took a while for my doctor to come see me, so I played with my tongue and daddy made me practice walking. When the doctor came in, she started talking about my skin as if something was wrong with me. She's very rushy. Oh my goodness, that's excellent. Yeah. So what all over? All over. So what are you um breastfeeding or bottle Breastfeeding. So is there any food you think that makes it worse? Um, Because she's getting everything you're eating. Right. Then the doctor asked mommy some more questions. Where is she sleeping? In her crib. Is it in your room? No, it's in her, her own room. Is she sleeping much at night? Or? Yeah, she's sleeping an average of 9 to 12 hours. Oh, that's fantastic, yeah. Yeah, she's a good baby. So she doesn't wake up to eat at night? No, she, oh, and she's, she's been doing that since... Three months? Two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. She stopped waking up to you in the middle of the night. Are you giving her the vitamin D drops? Yes. Is she rolled it over? Uh, we've caught it like two times. Okay. <laughs> and so, yeah. And then, and then not again, so we're not sure. You want her on her back? Or? She can, on her back, she can just lie down. Head this way. And then the doctor checked me for my reflexes and my muscle tone. It's so wiggly. It's so happy. It's so great. <laughs> so we're going to do this steroid ointment, but it's too strong to put. You can put it all over 
But I just don't want her like bathing in it. Okay, I guess something is wrong with me. My doctor is sending me home with some unscented body wash and a magical cream that mom and dad will have to pick up from the pharmacy. If you're curious about how to deal with my rough skin like mine, make sure you watch till the end to learn about how to combat scratchy skin on babies. The doctor went on and on about my skin, but she gave mommy helpful tips. Next, she checked out my ears, my eyes, and how good I was at moving. And you bet I showed off my Superman move. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Eventually, I was starting to get tired, but a nurse came in to give me a vaccine through my mouth called the rotavirus, and then two shots, one called the Penticel, and the other called the pneumococcal 13. I was not a fan of these shots, but I guess I'm glad I got them to, to fight against infections. I'm still so angry they didn't tell me it would hurt this much though. Thank God that was the last thing I had to do at the doctor's office because I have just had it with this visit. I am never going back to see the doctor again now. Anyways, that is what happened at my four month old checkup. I hope you never have to go through what I had to go through. We are now in the process of working on my bad skin so make sure you keep watching to see how it improves. I'll let mommy tell you all about we it. We are in the process of eliminating Zoe's eczema also known as atopic dermatitis and no i'm not a doctor i just got a pamphlet from our doctor Ooh, mm, apparently i thought i was filming a makeup tutorial i guess so this is something you're also dealing with don't worry it is the most common common skin problem amongst babies according to this thing and most of the time it disappears by four months so hopefully it's temporary there are basically two forms of treatment, indirect and direct. Indirect meaning not medicated, and that involves diet and lifestyle modifications. As you saw, our doctor pointed out that whatever I was eating, Zoe is also getting. Since we don't know if Zoe is allergic to a specific food, I haven't really started eliminating things in my diet to see if certain foods flare up her skin. If you already know what your baby is allergic to, it may help to see if removing that food improves her or his skin. Then there's lifestyle modification. That basically involves looking at the products you are using, which come in contact with baby's skin. Products include the types of detergent, lotion, and body wash or soap you are using. My pediatrician also said not to bathe your baby every day and maybe do it every three days so that their skin does not dry out. And direct treatment basically involves medication. Our pediatrician prescribed us this topical steroids. It is 2.5% but supposedly that is already really powerful. After looking at Zoe, she said that her condition was considered moderate to severe. So she said it would be good to go ahead and calm it down with the medication before we start trying out other indirect treatments. We apply a thin layer once in the morning and once at night in the problem areas. The doctor specifically said not to lather her in it since it is pretty strong. And what it does is that it breaks down the layer of skin that is breaking and flaky. So the next layer of beautiful fresh skin is on top. Hence you don't want to break down too many layers of their skin we try to alternate by moisturizing her with petroleum jelly every other day other things that are helpful include reminding your child just to stop scratching or in our case holding down her hand while she scratched also avoiding irritants such as using fabric softeners or wearing 100 percent cotton and in general moisturize moisturize and moisturize yeah, we moisturized a lot. <laughs> that is everything I learned about eczema. It was a lot of information because I never personally had to deal with eczema myself. So I hope you found this video helpful. And like and subscribe. Oh, and we will see you next time. Bye.